These seven women just learned that the dream man they had met online was not who they thought he was. In fact, his identity had been stolen and they were duped into romantic relationships with someone that wasn't real. The most shocking thing was who was behind it. The mystery man they were all in love with wasn't a man at all. It was a woman. And I'm about to confront this catfish now, face to face. Well, hello. I got you, Bill. How did you choose these girls? I didn't. You did, though. You did. You, you wound up focused on these girls versus 10,000 others. Was it just purely random? It was, I would say, 100% random. Did you see Sarah's picture or Hillary's picture or anybody's picture and say, I, I want to start a dialogue with her? Did you look at it and say, Are you asking I'm me attracted if I was to this person? Attracted yeah, to, uh, sure. Not all of them, no. You talk to people all the time, and not all of them started out with a relationship. Some of it was just casually talking, and it just got there. No, but there's a point at which you assumed an identity of someone else. Was that so you could have a romantic direction to the relationship and explore those feelings? I really don't remember the mindset I was in at that time. You don't remember the moment that you sat down and said, you know what, I'm going to assume a male identity. I'm gonna pick the name Hiram. I'm going to get a picture of a man and create this online identity. That is a complex operation. I'm just asking what the thought process was that you went through at the time, because it seems highly nefarious when you stand back and look at it. Oh, I didn't have any evil intentions in this. Why did you start pretending to be somebody you weren't online? I created an online persona so that I could, you know, figure out who I was and figure out if I was gay or not, or if I wanted to be a part of, you know, the religion or not. So you are gay? Yes. Are you open about that? Before and now, no. So that was one of your motivations to assume another identity? I would say that that was the only motivation. That's your only motivation? Yeah. The fact that you were gay? And Mormon. Your religion says we love you, but we don't love who you are. You know, do I want to be a part of the church or do I want to be gay? And unfortunately, I saw myself in a position where I couldn't have both. You assumed a male identity. Yes. And pursued intimate online relationships with women. Did you give any thought or consideration to the impact this would have on the other person? Um, I never thought that it would go this long. If this was to explore feelings, why did you need more than one? Why add four, five, six, or seven? No, I don't know why it took so many. Did it get to be sport? Was making friends a sport? Um, you know, I don't know. Well, with a false identity, pretending to be someone else, misleading them about who you are, yeah, that's kind of a, it's gaming. Friends don't deceive friends. Friends don't tell somebody they're a man when they're a woman. No. The intent of the account was to tweet about the LDS conference. That's it. You know, it wasn't my mindset, the fact that, you know, I was gay and Mormon, absolutely. I mean, <laughs> you don't understand how difficult that is. You really don't. And so for people to sit here and judge me, uh, you know, because I sin differently than them, you know, or say that, you know, it's not okay to be gay and Mormon, like, that's tough. I won't tell you I know how you feel. I can imagine that the conflict of someone with a deep conviction of faith, but yet a stark realization of who they are, that that would be a collision of worlds that would be beyond stressful. But some of these relationships started to develop pretty serious feelings, right? You knew at some point they were gonna realize there was no Hiram, there is no Hunter. Yeah, of course, it's something that I thought about. It became that the lie was, it was too much. I remember in the summertime, you know, I was like kind of constantly always going to bed with headaches and like just extremely stressed out that this lie was kind of starting to overcome, it, you know, my real life. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.